Hey, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be planting some bulbs that will be flowering next year and I'll be using them as part of my wedding flowers. Now we're almost approaching 2023. This is probably going to be aired in 2023, um, but there's still time to plant your spring bulbs. I try and get mine in before the end of the year or the first week of the new year to make sure that they have time to bloom. Um, but today I'm going to be planting some alliums. These will be flowering from about May to June. And although they won't be flowering in time for my wedding, which will be in the early autumn months, I'll be able to cut them, dry them, and use their spectacular seed heads for decoration instead. I've got a bit of a mixture here. So I thought I'd show you them before I get them planted. So I've got Allium gladiator. Now these are really popular because they make such enormous seed and flower heads. Great big purple one there. I've got two bulbs. One's not looking too healthy, but we'll see. Um, also, I've got some Allium Mount Everest, which as the name suggests, is a white variety. And I've then got Allium Christophii, which is one that I already grow quite a lot of. And I love it because the flower heads are really big and they're like pin pointy with a sort of lilac-y touch of purple. It's much softer than your purple sensation. And I've also got these enormous bulbs, uh, quite a few of these, which I've not grown before and I'm really excited. This is Allium Schubertii. And I've seen pictures where the flower heads get to like this big and I just can't wait. So they have like a, a center circle and then an outside circle. And I'm just so excited to see these come up, see how big I can get them. Um, so yes, I need to get these planted ASAP. <laughs> so that's what I'm here for today. And the area that I'm going to be planting them is going to be used for different things throughout the year. So my aim is to transform this bed, which is where last year I had some sweet corn growing here and then over at the back there is a bit of a strawberry patch. Now I already grow quite a few strawberries in those cages behind me so I'm actually going to take out all of those strawberry plants. I might pot them up, use them somewhere else or next year um, but this whole bed is going to be dedicated to alliums and also my squash next year so I should be able to interplant the squash plants in between alliums around June next year and then at which point I might even be able to cut and harvest the alliums or if they're still just about to flower, as I say, I can plant in between them. So that shouldn't be an issue. So yes, I need to get this patch tidied up, cleared and ready for planting. Now I wasn't planning on digging over this patch of ground. I try and be as um, no dig as possible, but there are so many brambles in here that have really deep roots and also bindweed. That's as much bindweed as I've already pulled out. And I just thought, well, actually, it's better to get all of that nasty stuff out so I can have a fresh new bed, which I'll mulch heavily once I'm done here. Um, but look, I've just pulled out some lovely little strawberry plants. These little babies will be great for potting up, um, creating a brand new area with strawberries for growing on perhaps in the polytunnel so I get an early crop if I pot these up. Or, you know, thinking of the wedding, I could even give something like this as a little wedding favour um, on the day. I mean, there will be quite big plants by then, <laughs> but, you know, it's something else that we can do with them by sharing them uh, with other people. But I've got a whole bucket of them so far, so I've got plenty to play with, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> Now that the bed is all prepped and ready, look at that blank canvas. That's kind of crazy. Um, I've got to lay out the bulbs and then I'll plant them. And the way that I'll be planting them is that the taller ones will be at the back, which happens to be the Allium Gladiator and Mount Everest. Both of these reach up to a metre in height, so I want them a bit further at the back. Then I'll have the Shibertii, which I think gets to about 90 centimetres. And in the very front, I'll have Christophii, which reach about 40 centimetres in height. So I'm going to lay them all out and then plant them all in one go. And a good rule of thumb for planting your bulbs is to plant them three times the height of the bulb. So the depth of the planting hole will be three times that. So I'll be looking at about 20 
25 centimetres in depth and that will actually really help keep the strength of the bulb upright when it's got that great big head on it. Planting it a bit deeper means it's going to be a little bit more sturdier and if you find that flowers don't bloom it can be that you've not planted them deep enough um, or the bulbs have rotted. So um, my soil is actually very good, quite free draining, but if you have very heavy clay that gets quite wet, um, you're best off putting a little bit of grit in the planting hole just to help with that drainage so that they don't rot before they bloom. So yeah, let's get uh, planting. And there we have it, that's all of my allium bulbs now planted. I do actually have still quite a lot of area here at the front that I haven't um, any bulbs for, so I can either get some more bulbs or save it for something else. But all that's left to do now is to put a nice layer of mulch on top of here. Um, and bearing in mind that this is gonna be where my squash grow next year, I want to get it all mulched before those alliums start to pop up in the springtime. So I'm going to be putting down some peat-free compost, but also if I can get my hands on some well-rotted manure, that will really help feed the squash um, next year because they are very hungry feeders. So I will be heavily mulching this bed next. Um, but yeah, they're all in and that's really exciting because it's actually the first flower that I've planted for my wedding flowers next year. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, look forward to them coming up soon. So. Yeah, if you haven't yet planted all of your spring bulbs, get on it because you've got a few weeks left to do it before you run the risk of some of them not blooming at the time that they would be. Um, they might just bloom a little bit later if you plant them too late and they might come up a little bit shorter, but usually they still bloom, so don't worry too much. But um, yeah, thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.